Hey everyone, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my scent of the day video. I have today Hibiscus Palm by Erin. This is an Eau de Parfum concentration from the Erin line, which is under Estee Lauder. Erin is the granddaughter of Estee Lauder, and this is considered like a luxury line of perfumes. Hibiscus Palm is probably the most famous of the line. I learned about this fragrance through Kathleen Lights here on YouTube. If you don't know who Kathleen Lights is, please go check her out. She is huge on YouTube, um, delightful, younger makeup uh, enthusiast. I don't think she's a makeup artist and enthusiast, but I learned so much from her, binge watched her videos. She is quite funny, entertaining, and just a ball of energy and happiness and light. Kathleen Lights, really, really delightful to watch, so fun. Anyway, she did a, a review of her perfumes. She does mostly makeup, but she is a perfume enthusiast as well, and mentioned that this is a resort fragrance, a tropical resort fragrance. She mentioned that when she wears it, she feels like she's in the lobby of a really lush, posh, uh, tropical resort somewhere. And so that intrigued me greatly when I saw it uh, on sale I snatched it up hibiscus palm um, and because Kathleen lights talked about it being a resort fragrance I can't get that out of my own head and I call it my resort fragrance now too this is tropics in a bottle it's a very floral fragrance um, more recent on the scene 2017 is when this uh, launched which in the world of perfumery is still a very young fragrance in the top, you get this beautiful hibiscus, ylang, ylang palm leaf, lotus, and ginger. So it's very tropical floral, but slightly spicy and a little bit green at the top, which is a super nice opening. In the middle is where this really sings the most. You get frangipani and, or, or frangipani, however you like to say that, and other white florals that are not identified. And then in the base, coconut milk, vanilla, and musk. To me, this is not a coconut prominent fragrance. However, if you read reviews on this, people feel like the coconut is distinct in here and prominent and lends a creaminess to this fragrance. Perhaps the musk does that too, I'm not sure, and perhaps the vanilla, the combination of the base notes. And it could be that the, the florals in here are creamy as well. I do get a creaminess from this. It's not the deepest creaminess, but it's there, a hint of that. What I get out of this mostly is a beautiful yellow floral smell. Um, I will say that this performs better for me on clothing than on skin. It is nice on skin, but it's more pronounced on my clothing. It to me is a fairly light fragrance. I wouldn't say like a skin scent or barely detectable kind of fragrance, not that. It's just more on the delicate and light side than a louder fragrance. So if you're the kind of person that really wants your fragrance to project far and wide, um, and have a huge presence. This might not be the one for you. If you like a fragrance that is pleasant and, 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 smells wonderful in the air, that's what's important about this fragrance. And as you walk by, the waft off of this is just luxurious, floral, tropical, really, um, alluring it pulls you in you're like oh what is that beautiful little smell it's a quite a nice fragrance the opening let's try the opening here again yeah it's super like very floral and slightly spicy is what i would say from what i guess is the ginger and then i've mentioned this in other videos a lang, -a -lang to my nose is a little bit spicy i know people pick up um a yellow floral scent and also a banana smell in that but for the most part it gives me a little tiny bit of kick in fragrances and you get a little bit of green from that palm leaf and then that calmness from the lotus 
it's a beautiful opening. Like I said, as it settles down, it gets into that frangipani and white floral stage, which is then like a tropical garden kind of smell. You do in the air get a little bit of sunblock, suntan lotion thing off of this. I featured this in my resort florals video because it's more that than like a sunscreen scent, but it really is like all of the above, right? <laughs> you get the resort thing, you get a little bit of the coconut, you get a little bit of the uh, sunblock thing happening all of the above and a little bit of like seaside smell very very subtle mostly yellow florals in here to me i really like this a lot i enjoy it it does feel a little bit on the more luxurious side but in a bit of a refined way I don't know if I'm thinking that from the power of suggestion because it is part of the air in line. And so if we know something is part of a luxury line, sometimes we will trick ourselves into thinking that it smells more luxurious than it does. I acknowledge that, I get that, I understand the human psychology part of that very well, which is why none of us should ever be tricked into thinking that luxury fragrances or niche fragrances or whatever are that much more special than anything else. Some people really believe that and feel that fine I won't argue with them I say for myself that I think there's some psychology involved in that the more you pay for a fragrance if it's nice you tend to kind of elevate it even further uh, because you want to believe that it's special the special luxurious thing if you know what I'm saying and you agree with me please drop me an amen or something down in the comments that would be that would be great to see so hibiscus palm thumbs up especially if you like floral fragrances and if you're looking for something feminine and pretty for the summertime that isn't on the fruity side and isn't too too girly this is a mature not too mature not like dated and vintage just a mature yellow floral based to me fragrance really delightful Aaron hibiscus palm i like you we're gonna be friends take care everyone